from the Mandingi mine in the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent, of course very well known for the, the stalagmite stalactites of Malachite, absolutely natural, so these haven't been man-made, man these have been made by Mother Nature. Um, look at the interesting form of the, the top crystallization, also a bit of patterning on the cross section. What you're seeing here is almost a, a, a blackish, but it's actually a lovely green, rich green, two shades of green, so a darker green and a lighter green intermingling. In this section here we'd have some chrysocala, so this would be a mixture of uh, malachite and chrysocala. Or perhaps just malachite, let's just see if there's patterning on that section. Then uh, the termination on top is totally intact. When we go across to the bottom, we have the cross section. Definitely looks like a mixture of chrysocala and malachite. A little bit of patterning happening there. So let's once again, for the display, give it a turn. Lovely piece. Uh, Size-wise, we're looking at uh, probably just over, just under three inches, or maybe on three inches. A pretty good size. Not all that heavy. A little bit of crystallization on the outside here. Most likely malachite, different crystal form of the malachite running across there. Go across like that. Under the stand, of course, the stand in this case being my fingers. All the way from the Mendingi mine in the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent. Of course, the copper mines of the Congo. Now, copper and related minerals give us these lovely colors. Lots of lovely bright, rich colors.